Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Point Hospital, where in the last episode we started off with our very first hospital in Hogsport. Uh, or is it Hogsport? Hogsport or Hog... I don't know. But anyway, we are... Ooh, there we are, hospital repetition. Oh good, this will attract even more patients. Fantastic. Ward required. Ward required. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Bed face. A quite alarming condition, uh, contortion of the face, caused by sleeping at strange angles. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. A patient is seeking treatment. We will need a ward in order to treat them. Get patient to wait. Okay then, so now the ward is a fairly large building, so we're going to take a little bit of time with this one. So, I think around here, perhaps, the whole thing um, will be a ward. However, just to illustrate something, you can, in fact, have extra little bit of... Uh, you, you don't need these to be square rooms, like in uh, Theme Hospital. You can make them whatever shape you particularly want. Uh, though the ward has to have a fairly large door, which is a bit of a shame. Mm, don't like that. No, no, no. We need this to be a bit better, then. In that case, we'll have a little area down there, I think. Door can go there. Sure, I think that's fine. Uh, we've got a ward required. Again, that's fine. We'll have uh, some windows heading straight in. Okay, so with that, I'm going to want the nurse's desk right above there, I think. We will also have the screen for my patients to get changed right there. I want a filing cabinet for the uh, information on the various patients. Kind of important, I think, to have a filing cabinet when you're dealing with the ward. Uh, we'll have a bin right there underneath that one, and we'll have a flower pot. Just, you know, a little bit squiff there, because I like the way it looks. We'll also have this one in there. We'll have a little uh, fire extinguisher. Now, over here, we could pop down a couple more um, nurses' cabinets, which I think are quite nice. And then... We get to the really expensive, or well, not so much expensive, I suppose, but certainly large items, the bed. Now, do we want a, a ward that can only have that many beds? No, of course we don't. We want a huge ward. This is, this is a gigantic room. It needs to have a lot of use. So we're gonna grab some extra, um, extra windows in there. Let's go for another plant, probably one maybe I can't quite fit it in the middle I could perhaps though fit one there and one there oh that looks quite lovely in my opinion quite quite lovely uh, maybe an extra screen since it is such a large ward seems to make sense to me maybe an extra plant pot there as well there we go we might even have an extra nurse's not locker too there we are right about there and there we go donk that was an incredibly expensive ward uh, well done, the hospital level has increased. Marvellous. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work there in the room settings. This is useful if you have lots of patients. Now, I do want this ward to have uh, extra stuff. So we'll have two nurses due to be here, but at this point we do need a lot more nurses. So let's have a quick look. Once more money. Expensive. High salary expectations. Uh, thinks their life is a rom-com. Funny. Sharpens their pencils with a cleaver. Uh, well, you know, they say that uh, that uh, laughter is it's pretty good medicine. So we'll, we'll have you. You can you can go over there and uh, hang out. Uh, let's... What? Try moose juice. I'm uh, not sure I want to, really. The healthiest drink on the market. Wow. Only the finest organic mooses. Can you have non-organic mousses? Actually, I'm not sure I want to know the answer to that question, frankly. But there we go. All done. Ooh. Very well. The Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognise the achievement of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be awarded an official star rating. This will be great for our organisation. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, but it will also allow us to establish new hospitals around the county. Continue to expand the hospital to acquire one star. I think we can absolutely do that. 
That should not be a problem for us, I don't think. We can have one there. We'll have a bin right here and a plant. There we go. Lovely. Absolutely wonderful. I uh, would like something to maybe keep you entertained, perhaps. We'll have a little uh, magazine stand there. Maybe even... Mm, we'll probably have an, uh, a, a room there, I imagine. But we need an extra GP's office, and that's really all we need. But I'm sort of feeling that maybe we're a little bit behind on our janitors. Also, we need to go back to normal speed. By completing the objectives and challenges, our organization earns kudosh. We can use this to gain access to new items. Yes, indeed, we can. Uh, I would like a new janitor, please. Uh, let's see. Good. We've cured 10 patients in total. Each cure boosts our reputation, which will attract even more patients. Marvelous. The girl next door dreams of slightly better tomorrow. Ah, Heartthrob, the target of unrequited idolization. Uh, you're fast, though, so you're high. Get to work. In fact, I think we need another janitor, honestly. Inspiring class clown. Loves people. Uh, peeled food. People food there for a second. I was like, oh, I don't think having you working in my hospital is a good idea. But no, no, no. Inspiring is nice. Inspires other people and entertains people with their sweet dance moves. Marvelous. Ah, but, 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 we have some things we need. We need a deluxe clinic. So let's get one of these going, shall we? Our doctors have discovered, diagnosed patient with lightheadedness, but it requires a deluxe clinic. That's fine. We will get this done. It is all okay. Well, I have some windows so everyone can watch this marvelous machine in action. And we're gonna pop it right there. Yes, it's called, it's called lightheadedness. They've got light bulbs for heads, okay? That's amazing in and of itself. But furthermore, this is called a deluxe clinic. It's it's not deluxe as in luxurious. It's a deluxing. Ah, oh, really? The puns like that, they deserve a reward. I like it. All right, let's uh, pop, <laughs> pop that one down. Uh, this is Prestige Level 3. Now, unfortunately, this is a uh, room that can explode, and we don't want it to, so let's try to avoid that. We don't really have many things that we can put in here, so we're just going to have to go with that. But doink! Look at this. Light bulb wallpaper. Light bulb flooring. Oh, it's so mean. So good. Uh, I don't think you even know what humility means, if I'm honest. Your underdeveloped vocal abilities would make this quite impossible. This is why you don't have any friends. I tried. I tried. I tried to explain to him. I tried to get him to see see the right way of, of treating people, but no, no, he refuses. It's most sad. Most sad. Look at this. Look at that jaunty little uh, little little gate there. I like it. Diagnosis plus eight percent. Now that's actually something worth going over. The uh, level of skill. The, the I, I believe the prestige of the room does affect it to some small degree, but. A very big part is the level of skill of the individual um, people involved will increase the diagnosis or in fact cure people um, and, and the room itself can definitely have an effect on the treatment possibility um, things in the room can be upgraded to give better treatment chances and certain props can be added that will give better treatment chances all of these things uh, take part in it. Now, a big part is the diagnosis because you can end up with enormous cues and they can come from just having, you can have loads of offices that are, they'll do diagnosis, but if each doctor in each of your diagnosis areas isn't particularly good, or a nurse in, in a general diag or in the ward, and they only increase the diagnosis by a small amount, then that patient's going to be hanging around, going back and forth between diagnosis areas over and over and over. And it'll, uh, it'll really, really slow things down. It's quite unfortunate. I mean, that's completely fair, honestly. It is completely fair. Let's have a look at this, though. We've got a couple of people waiting, I think. Oh, no! Oh, no! Why did you do so badly? What did you just do? Why so bad? You're not even a bad... Well, oh, you've got no particular skill at it, but... First death. Oh, dear. Well, that's very unfortunate. Rip. You gonna become a ghost? No. Phew. Okay. Patient death. Sad news, our first patient death. Patients can die if a treatment fails, or if they are waiting too long and their health deteriorates. Because the longer they're in your, 
they aren't healthy when they arrive, and that continues to get worse the longer they're here. Hospital reputation will suffer as a result. There's also a chance the patient will turn to haunt the hospital. Thankfully, that didn't happen here. Uh, misery guts. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Right. Let's have a proper watch of how this goes. Though I've, I've, I'm worried about you. Truly, I am. Let us hope that you do okay. That doesn't look like it's very, very uh, comfortable. Especially, you know, the, the twitchiness. Very unfortunate. But here we are. The Deluxe Clinic. 88% chance of curing. Illness difficulty isn't too bad. We're absolutely certain what's wrong with them. And staff skill, only 40%. Uh, that's not good. That's super ungood, actually. Ouch. Bogwarts. Our doctors have discovered the new illness, a rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured, however, with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. We'll send the patient for treatment. <laughs> I love that or part. It's like, ah, oh, well, you know, you could do it this way. Or, you know, but we can just, you know, awesome witchcraft. Uh, several are currently idle. That's fine. We've got a little bit of space so that they can take some time off. But we need a new room, a new GP's office. More to the point. Let's get this in there. We planned for this a long time ago, so let's uh, make good on it, shall we? Yeah, that would generally be a good idea. Right, once again, we want two of these. One for actual patient records. One for... Mm, I'm going to say horror in this room. Uh, just try not to get them mixed up, because that will probably lead to... Well, hilarity for me, but... Probably uh, an unfortunate uh, treatment log for the patient. There we are. Uh, we don't really need a fire extinguisher, but I'm going to give you one anyway, just to, to make you feel important. Uh, well, we'll leave it at, at prestige too. It's hard to get these rooms better right now. All right, we've got a queue of three patients with lightheadedness. I think we can do that, but let's have a look at our doctors, shall we? Uh, in terms of diagnosis, um, general practice, that's nice. How about you? Nausea inducing? No. Funny. Oh. Okay. Doesn't think it's a big deal. Very well. I hire you. You know what? I think we need to do a little bit of staff specialization though. I definitely feel that that would go a long way to helping out. So, we're going to go into the staff screen. Oh, staff, patients and illnesses. Uh, we're not going to worry about the pop-ups. It's fine. I will tell you what we need to do. Oh my lord. You are really needing some time out. But first and foremost, let's have a look at pay review. Um, everyone is reasonably content with their pay, so we don't really need to do too much with that. That's nice. How about job assignments, though? Let's have a look at our doctors. Okay, yeah, everyone's okay there. Now, in terms of doctors, you've got really good diagnosis and bedside manner. Um, so, I mean, realistically, we've got one person to go to the deluxe clinic. I would prefer it to be Sean. Just because Sean is good at doing things, but we are going to lose the diagnosis skill. It's a shame, but... Uh, oops, I've done the wrong way. Uh, there we go. Sean, I would prefer for you to be in the Deluxe Clinic right now just because of how skilled you are. You're generally going to be much better at taking care of people. And what's more, I'm going to give you a bit of a boost in salary as well. There you go. Now then, nurses, let's have a quick look here. Right, well, in terms of pharmacy, I really would prefer you guys there. Oh, okay, we can go and check out the awards. We're not going to get no deaths. <sighs> oh, well. This will happen every year, much like Theme Hospital. Uh, you can skip through it super fast, but for the first couple, we'll do it one at a time. So, what do we got? Have a look. We've got the Burp Awards for Doctor of the Year is presented to Dr. Sean Burp. Well, uh, that does make sense. So we actually won the Doctor of the Year. How marvelous. I approve. And next up, yes, Mark Riddle. We've got a little bit of extra kudosh, some rep, some money as well. Nurse of the Year. Fantastic, Mark Riddle. What have we got? We have got... Ah, oh, Janitor of the Year went to Jumbo Mega Corp. Janitors, you're letting me down. How could you? After I hired so many of you as well. Uh, assistant of the year went to Bungle Meditech. Uh, clearly, I'm giving you too much time off. What have we got next? We've got... Employer of the Year is presented to Hogspot. Uh, employer! Ha! I'm amazing. I Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I would like to thank my parents for giving birth to me. 
That was kind of the first step in a long and illustrious career as the employer of the year. Uh, oh. Wow. We knew that one wasn't going to go to it. Uh, oh, wow. There we are. Most prestigious hospital. Nice. We're getting a load of mon money here. Fantastic. This is the most awards I've won ever. It, it, that, that includes in the, in the alpha. That is amazing. Even when we had like three stars on everything. Patient's Choice Award. Well, I mean, we did lose someone, so it doesn't really surprise me too much, I suppose. Oh, well, that's not too bad. But let's go back to staff, shall we? Now, nurses, uh, well, bedside manner. I would prefer you not to take care of any patients in the pharmacy, generally. In fact, I actually would prefer you to be the ward, if I could. And to that end, I think I'm going to grab another nurse. Oh, my lord. Uh, want more money? Okay. Fast learner and charming. Misrepresents themselves on dating sites. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we want a catfish in our hospital. Uh, wants more money. High energy. Wants more money. Why does everyone want more money? Uh, I guess the obvious answer they They want... To, to be able to buy things. That makes sense, I suppose. Uh, increased happiness, stamina training, diagnosis skill, grumpy. Uh, crashes Frisbee's dog style. <laughs> I'm actually going to take you for that alone. That is amazing. I approve. I approve. Uh, you can work in general diag only. <laughs> that is truly marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous. There we go. Um, well, actually, we'll, we'll leave it like that. Uh, as, as far as you guys, you've only got one job. Uh, well, you're the only... Well, I guess both of you can, can take care of this, but... Um, hmm. I think I'd actually like you to take care of everything. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to say, please focus on watering plants, clearing out rubbish, and clearing up waste. That just... The only thing you do is this. So focus supremely on that. And you're also pretty fast, but you can do so many other things. So... Um, Alright, don't take care of that. I would like you to focus on taking care of the toilet and replenishing the machines and also the fire extinguishers, but also a little bit of, you know, cleaning up waste, because waste is particularly bad. Uh, as for you, though, don't take care of any of these Focus on all of that instead. There we go. So our janitors are now very specialized, which means that when one of them is on break, it's going to kind of go bad. But, you know, it's just something we're going to have to live with. Uh, right. Were there anything else we wanted to worry about? Well, that's, that's all, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it's true. Plants do need water, actually. Okay, are uh, there any other rooms that we can build? We could. I could even specialize our uh, our lavatories if I particularly wanted to. Do you need to go to the toilet, mate? It sounded like it did. It's a little bit worrisome. Okay. Right, well, we've got a couple more places we can pop down some seating. So let's take care of that, shall we? Let's pop down a little bit of seating over here. Um, sure, and then... Well, we're not going to have one there. We've got cheesy gubbins down there. Let's put a drinks machine here. Oh, <gasps> there we go. Dear hospital administrator. One star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one out of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I have retrieved your file from the, my bin to celebrate. Oh, thank you. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets, if you believe that you're capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. I have yet to mispronounce that. I consider this a personal achievement. The choice, as they say, is yours. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge. Health Minister, we've got 100 kudosh, $10,000, and we've opened up a Lower Bullocks and the light-headed poster. We're going to continue, however. I am not yet ready to leave this area. Now, to get to start, we've got to just cure 25 patients. That shouldn't, as it happened, be too difficult for us to do. Uh, what I would like here, though, is a new plant. There we go. Have we got a bin down there? We do. Uh, we're going to pop another 
item. There we go. That, that'll actually look quite nice. Okay. If you want to return to the map, we can go there at any time. And we should be fine. Revenue eh, is doing okay. We'll earn, actually, uh, probably a decent amount. We've got to get the hospital up to level 6, though. That's going to be uh, our next task. We're going to pop this in there. Ooh, what just happened? I got I got a ding-ding. Uh, something has opened up. You know what? Oh, did something go wrong? Uh, it's not good. I'm going to be right back. Let's pop out for a second. Ooh. Hello? If you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning... Watch out for the gathering of druids down the Krog Bend's ring. In a total coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. I know. I really love that DJ. So chilled out. Though he does like to talk about nail clippings a lot, and that goes through me something. But uh, I wanted to check my career. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so we've got to cure 100 patients for 100 kudosh. Got to earn. A decent amount of money for 100 kudosh. Uh, earn 1,000 more... Uh, sorry, 800 more kudosh to earn another 100 kudosh. Wow, these have been nerfed. It used to be so easy to just be rolling in kudosh. Alas, no longer. Oh, well, I just wanted to check. Let's have a look at the leaderboards. Where are we? Okay, okay, I'm level two on the star rating. I've got one, and Trillissim has got one. Blala has got five. Well done, Blala. Uh, in terms of foundation value... Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. That's not so bad. Number two out of four. Ah, I like it. And kudosh earned. Number two out of four. Lala is dominating right now. Well done, Lala. Well done indeed. I will crush you. In the most friendly way possible, of course. Whilst while celebrating your achievements. Uh, right. Now that's going to take some time. Lala is the person to beat right now. Our hospital has a yearly profit of 67,000. That is way better than Biffa's hospital, which is only 6,000. Ha! Take that! Uh, however, we do probably need an extra nurse, maybe. Let's have a look at some other things. We can see our uh, patient's health ratings. That's good. How about happiness? Yeah, generally. Uh, this is patient happiness. How about staff happiness? Yeah, no one, no one is unhappy, which is, well, you know, people aren't, aren't amazingly happy. Temperature isn't going to be a thing on this map. So we're not going to have to worry about that. Now, we don't have psychiatry, so we're probably not going to see psychiatry-style um, illnesses yet. Yeah, might have too many janitors. No, hogswash. We've got just enough. Maki uh, Makinbosh is ready for promotion from intern janitor to junior janitor. Promotion from intern janitor to junior janitor will provide plus one training slot, plus 15% movement speed, 10% upgrading skill, and 20% maintenance skill. Offer a pay rise to keep the staff happy. Yes, yes, here you go. Get another bit of a pay rise. They'll get an, a pay rise anyway, but I'm going to give them an extra special high one. There you go. But uh, that is a that is a big thing. Now, just, just getting a promotion at all gives them bonuses. You don't need to train them any further. They, you don't need to give them skills to get those bonuses. Those are just straight up bonuses. Now, later on, we'll need to train them in something before they can gain a level before they can be promoted but for now in the earlier levels before you get staff training it gives you a buy now thirst i am seeing people who are bloody thirsty this is not good not good that is potential revenue that we are not getting i refuse to accept this state of affairs get over there uh also over here actually probably want some some thirst quenching uh things up here right there we do. Yeah, it's generally Time good if you do go eventually. Uh, right, food-wise... Well, I don't know why you're hungry, because we've got cheesy gubbins right there. I don't know what I can do. Plenty of cheesy gubbins. Oh, I just don't know. Why? What's wrong? Uh, bored, thirsty, and hungry. You're going to reception. What? I... I mean... Uh, what? Go home. You have broken yourself. Somewhere along the line, you broke. Go home. Uh, right, staff energy levels. Yeah, if, you know, they're, they're okay. People should be alright. Now, hygiene. Ooh, very nice. The hygiene in the hospital is very good. Uh, a couple of people need the loo. Why, though? I don't know, because, you know, it's not like the, the loo has got a queue. Uh, boredom. One person is bored. That's not so bad. And in terms of requiring maintenance, yeah, okay. Not not awful. And some of the plants could do with a bit of a water, but generally speaking, it's not bad. 
generally speaking, we're doing okay. I would like an extra bin here, though. And maybe a leaflet. Now, we've got some lightheadedness posters that we can dot around the hospital to spruce up the rooms a little. Well, oh, there we go. Prestige level three. What about you? Uh, not quite prestige level three. Let's have two, then. There we go. That's what I like. Lightheadedness poster there. Uh, we'll just leave that as it is. Uh, over here, we've got, we've got to warn about the the, the perils of lightheadedness. Uh, it's also the only decoration we've got right now. So I intend to put it pretty much everywhere. Um, I mean, it makes a lot of sense to have it in a deluxe clinic. I mean, come on. That's the perfect place to put it. Uh, a cautionary tale. There. It's just, you know, so they've got something to look at while they're drying their hands. I'm always thankful for that. In, in, in lavatories, in public restrooms. So, so, somewhere that I can stick my eyes while I am shaking all of the water off my hands. Or, you know, letting it dry, hopefully. Especially if they've got those funky blade uh, dryers. I am quite fond of using those. Uh, they can have that one as well. But there we go. All right, how are we doing? Uh, we'll get there. Ghosts! When a patient dies, sometimes a part of them remains. The most terrifying part, sadly. But, oh, wow, well, really? I mean, what if they were like, kind of like Casper and more friendly? This can be quite upsetting for those of us still clinging on to life. Not only that, but ghosts are messy blighters, leaving a trail of ectoplasm. They also have a habit of dematerializing and popping up elsewhere. Who should we call? A janitor with ghost capture qualification, of course. They are fully trained with the latest auto-psychic ghost suction technology. In future, we might even be able to harvest spiritual matter for use by our research team. That is true. Now, what are the queues like? I shouldn't imagine there are any many queues around here. Let's get some uh, seating, though. Go have a seat here. And there. Uh, or the game, you know. Uh, there we are. That should keep people reasonably happy there. Uh, do we have any rooms that actually need extra staff? I don't think we do. I think we're actually doing fairly well. Okay, time for us to consider some kudosh spending then. We could get an energy drink. Hand sanitizer maybe. That's definitely a possibility. Magazine rack would be nice. Some better flowers even. Some better posters. Uh, We'll fill your this is training speed. Watch your every move. Hello. Hey, buddy. And even recommend what products mm. to buy based on your behavior. This is provides entertainment. That'd be Jumbo. nice. We spy because we care. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not buying that actually. Let's have a look at specific items for in here. We could get a lamp, increase the room prestige. Uh, medicine cabinet, I would love to get, but that's a little ways off yet. Ah, there we are, the, the coffee machine. I need it. I need it so much. There we go. Coffee machine for everyone who can have one. Here you go. Coffee machine for you. Coffee machine for you. You can wave to each other when you're getting your coffee. It's going to be great. That, that window, perfect position. Can I put one in here? Is this a machine that I can have? I can. Couldn't do that in the uh, alpha, I don't believe. There we go. Coffee machine for you as well. I need all of my staff to be to be ha have the correct level of caffeine in their blood in their blood system, or or the the proper dilution of their caffeine system with blood. Definitely want one in here. There we go. It's reasonably expensive. Uh, yes, please do that. Um, have one just over here, I guess. Uh, let's not be too cruel to the patients because they're not going to be allowed any coffee. Can I, can I put one out? Can I just pop right? No, I can't. Much sadness was felt by me. Ward emergency. There's an outbreak of ward-related illnesses after the two-point squabbler released a feature on advanced sleeping positions with incorrect diagrams, no less. That led to a range of internal and external conditions. There's a group looking for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group. Should we have them sent here? Uh, how many people? Five patients with bad face? Easy peasy. Go, go, go. If we can cure them all, that's going to be great. Uh, is that not being fixed? Can someone, please get in there and fix it. All right, let's have a look. Have we got any cues really building up? No, not really. Reputation is good. Reputation is based on the outcome of the patient's visit, the happiness of people in the hospital, the prices you charge, and other publicity the hospital receives. Having a high reputation means you will attract more patients and job applicants. 
which is actually pretty good. Uh, there we go. I, I love it that it drops them off in a little, little ambulance. That's, that's actually pretty cool. And all sorts of different diseases have different sorts of things. Sometimes uh, these, these, these phone boxes are amazing when you get a jest infection emergency. And suddenly, it is, or, or like a tiny little car pulls up, and then you see how many clowns get. Oh, it's good. It's good times. We'll get there eventually. And then I'll weep every time I watch the jest infected clowns be cured by sucking out all of their fun. Uh, we're like humor vampires. Uh, I don't think we need much. Oh, you desperately need the loo. Okay, well, I hope you. I hope that's okay, Kim. Uh, we could get a second pharmacy, I guess. We've got a little bit of a queue out there. Mm, VP with a queue. No one queuing there. No one queuing for General Diag. The ward will easily be able to handle everyone who needs to, to be in the ward, so that's going to be super easy for us to take care of. In fact, we're going to speed things up and just see what we can do. You need a bit of a bite to eat. Well, that's fine. We've got loads of things around the place for you to uh, enjoy. Diagnosis, 99%. Have you been sent for the deluxe clinic? Where are you off to now? Estimated chance of cure. Uh, yeah, you're probably going straight there. Okay, well, 99% is good enough, I guess. Uh, we might have too many janitors. Well, oh, you you did not receive that. Staff promotion! Hooray! Alison Kitten. What a lovely name. It's ready for promotion from junior nurse to nurse. One training slot, 10% movement speed, 10% diagnosis and treatment. Yes, and you got a bit of a pay rise, too. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, no! They perished in bed. Oh, at least they're going to get out of the bed first. Oh, no. Super bad times. Well, that was one one emergency that, that was okay. Oh. Womp womp. I feel bad. Uh, I suppose it's fair that I should feel bad. Uh, special report. Well done. We cured enough of the patient group. This was helped our uh, reputation. And we've been sent a reward. Five patients with a bad face. Um, we cured four out of the five. Oh, well. Uh, still, we, we did manage to uh, do a fairly good job of it. Ah, uh, there we go. Hospital repetition is now great. This will attract even more patients. Please summon, deal with that ghost. There we go. Marvelous. Before it spooked anyone. Hello, Harrison. Spread some truth to all our vigilant listeners. Good times are these. So open your eyes and your ears. Uh, and get what room do we want next? What's really going on? Pop down. First, oh, we got two people, people queued for that one. Patient, history. unhappy with the hospital. <gasps> very hungry, very thirsty, and desperate for toilets. I know, right? This place is lovely. I don't understand. Why were you so unhappy? What have you done here? Um, you were waiting for... What is happening with this place? You are not doing your job. Let me move it. Maybe maybe this is a problem. Maybe part of the issue is that you're just not... There's not enough... I don't know. And it's confusing and frustrating. <sighs> we can put these outside, by the way. I think we will. A couple here and there. Um, oh, there's no room over there, so we won't bother. Uh, actually, we're going to get rid of this chair. We're going to move it over here and set up another little waiting area right there so we can have another poster right by there. A little look around. Have we got a bin nearby? We don't. So we're going to put a bin right here. Uh, yeah, I, I actually agree. Have we got a health inspector? Yes! Henry Jobsworth is arriving at the hospital. Where is Henry Job Jobsworth? I don't see the health inspector. Well, that's probably just part of his clever plan. I can't, I can't fool him if I can't see him. I'm on to you. Uh, right, let's get these in position. Should we go for three here? Or no, I think we'll stick with two. There we are. Plenty of seating. Comfy patients are happy patients. Right, let's move this across a little bit. It should be enough to get that area um, set up. Uh, we could do with another one over here as well. There we go. Maybe a bin there. No, we don't need a bin there. We don't need that either. I could have one of these though. I don't know, but we'll see. I think maybe we want another... Oh, there we go! Ha-ha! Second star! Fantastic! Dear Hospital Administrator, two-star hospital, congratulations! Your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. 
you proceed at your current pace, you will have achieved everything you can in your founding establishment soon enough. I can sense your confluent, uh, competence inflating. Careful that you don't build yourself up for an even greater fall. It's true. Yours frequently. Once again, we've got 150 kudosh and 20,000. This time, salty snack machine. Now, the nice thing with that is, as you can imagine, we would have had to have bought that otherwise. By increasing the hospital's star rating, our organization has earned a heap of kudosh. Use this to unlock new items. I might well do that. Uh, are, you, are you liking this place? I hope you are. I hope you're, you're finding it quite satisfactory. Now, we've got to cure 30 patients and 400,000. Now, have a hospital value of not actually that much more than we currently have, which is rather good. All right, let's go and have a look at uh, this item. Now, the Salty Snacks Machine costs a fair bit. That would have cost a stupid amount of kudosh to get, by the way. But, stock with briny brittle. Your weekly salt in one convenient bar. Oh dear. Maybe a little bit too much. Um, I'm thinking we definitely want some of these around the place. Like one there. We basically want to pop these in places where it's going to encourage people to drink. That's fair enough. You've got quite a nice voice. And then another thing. Um, and I say one thing, and then another thing. It's possible you're now hypnotized too. Would I even know? There's the question. Uh, sure, we'll have some briny brittle right about here as well. And another bench, perhaps? We've got a decent amount. I can't afford an energy drink. Good news, we've cured 50 patients in total. <sighs> wow, each cure boosts our reputation, which will attract even more patients. Marvellous. Uh, we could get a better bin. A bigger, hungrier bin that needs emptying less often. Now, the other thing is that some of the more... Um, uh, some of the better... Oh, I don't actually see moose juice. Maybe it's locked. Oh, no, there we are. Luxury snacks. I don't see moose juice, though. Interesting. But they require restocking less often. So it improves the overall efficiency of your hospital as well. Since your janitors have to do a lot less work. I would really like the magazine rack, I think. It's 50. Sure, let's let's grab that. Magazine rack. There we go. We can have you down here as well. As you can see, I'm kind of preparing this area for a bit of a... Uh, let's pop you about there, maybe. Hopefully we can build a wall up along there and it's not going to be too much of a problem. We'll see. Actually, I'm going to move that just a little bit aside and we'll... We'll decide what we're going to do there later. But uh, a, hungry, a bigger bin would be good. So yes, we're going to unlock that too. And we'll have this bigger bin right over by the briny brittle. And then we can get rid of this less awesome bin. Uh, in fact, let's shunt that across a little bit. And then we can place a plant there. Ah, oh, marvellous. Works out perfectly. Can I move you across? Yes, I can. Ah, that'll do. Actually, given that then, you know what we're going to do. We're going to... I will still have that there, but we're going to move all of these just into position, just slightly. I, I like having them a little bit square, all right? It's fine. There we go. That'll do. It's a nice little area there. We've got plenty of uh, uh, snack machines around here. We're going to replace all of the bins with the better bins. They're a bit more expensive, but it will help out in the long run. We'll also have a, maybe a bin there. No, I don't think we need a bin there. We'll replace you, though. There we are. How much more are these in terms of cost? They're about double the cost. Which, you know, it's fine, I suppose. Yeah, you replaced. There we are. We do need a, a better bin in here. Let's get rid of you. Now, it doesn't make any sense to make my staff more thirsty because they don't pay, I don't think. Am I charging my staff? Oh, that would be really bad. I mean, yes, I know this is a, a for-profit hospital, Ugh. but still, there's levels of, of, of for-profitness that just uh, you can't accept. No, I'm not going to charge my bloody staff. They get free food. That way I can pay them less. in trouble again. Apparently elixir, your latest product, which claims to cure all ills, is in fact nothing but pine-scented prune juice. 
Not a while. Well, I guess it should cure one ill at least. <laughs> yeah. Let's not think about that one too hard. All right, there we go. We're super close now to the hospital value we need. That is marvelous, I must say. I would like that to be uh, improved. Inspection report. Mr. Jarlsworth has sent us a report from his recent visit. It's 30 pages, so we haven't read it, but the conclusion reads incredibly mediocre, with no features that sway the overall product. Neither negatively nor positively outside of the realm of the ordinary. Nothing to complain about here, but not much to be happy about either. Wow. That's the worst one I've had. I don't think I've ever had any of the inspectors in the, in the alpha, that is, ever feel bad about it. Pharmacy emergency. Uh, five patients with bog warts. I think we can manage it. Sure. Uh, also, I'm going to add in a lightheadedness poster right behind you. There you go. That looks lovely. But that's where we're going to wrap up this episode as it happens. I need to possibly build one more room. And that will get the value of the hospital up, I think. Uh, maybe get in another pharmacy. Because I do feel that those ones tend to be very heavily visited. So maybe uh, another GP's office. Who knows? We don't have too many in terms of queues, so it's not that bad. Is someone here to repair that? Yes, they are good. Um, maybe a general tire? Possibly. Maybe even just another lavatory. I don't know. But we will find out in the next episode where we will almost certainly reach the third star in Hogsport. And then we can move on to the next hospital. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, though. And will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.